Dean Wang, thank you so much for taking some time and, and uh, talking to us. Talk for a moment about how the COVID-19 pandemic has impacted the College of Engineering, Informatics, and Applied Sciences. Obviously, this is a challenging time. I mean, this is unprecedented for higher education. And in particular for engineering, you know, we are typically more hands-on, practical. So students typically working in the lab. So not only just a classroom, we are figuring out, you know, how do we, uh, you know, make sure that uh, we offer using NAU flags. So students are really engaging in the same work as the, uh, they are here. So this is what we are doing. Clearly all colleges, all classes at NAU are getting used to and adjusting to the new NAU Flex methodology of educational delivery. Talk for a moment about how that has changed things for your college. Number one, we have a more faculty really embraced this online, remote, and hybrid delivery modality. You know, before uh, COVID pandemic, you know, some faculty believe that uh, you know, this education will never meet the quality as in-person class. Now, with our summer preparation, with our practice, and some faculty did research in the training, and a lot of faculty found out actually this hybrid offering, especially the NAU Flex model, may offer really better learning experience for students. So we post our lecture notes beforehand, before class, so students can have a preview. And during the lectures, students can record it and then can replay it later on. Number two, the benefit I see here is that people realize we need to really get involved with our students and become more engaged, enter this online or remote or synchronous, asynchronous you know, delivery modality. The, the College of Engineering, Informatics, and Applied Sciences is a relatively new college. But despite that, I would suspect that you have a very strong vision, both on a short-term basis and on a long-term basis, of how you would like to see the college grow and progress in the months, years, and even decades to come. At this point, I'm thinking three things. So uh, I call it the three 100%. Okay? The first 100%, I like to increase 100% of our annual research expenditures right? in the next three to five years, we double it. The second 100% are like 100% of these college students will have at least one professional practice experience before their graduation. It can be an internship, it can be an externship, it can be a core or any kind of paid unpaid working experience or research experience. The, uh, the third 100% is even more challenging. I like in the next three to five years, we reach that goal that 100% of our students, when they graduate, they will get at least one job offer. This is really a bold, bold goal, but I believe we, we will be there and we can be there. We will find out a different way. Pretend for a moment with me that I'm a student, I'm a senior in high school, say in the Phoenix area or Tucson or Southern California or anywhere. And I'm considering coming to NAU and I wanted you to give me the pitch, sell me. My understanding of higher education is that, you know, eventually you are going to figure out what you are going to do, what you can do, right? This is a part of your four year education. You figure out where is my passion? And, and so you think about it from that angle, I would say, come here, this is the right place for you because here, first of all, you know, the, the job of prospect is so bright for STEM areas. So some of the, uh, our areas with the job growth, even 20, 21, 25% in the next eight years. So that presents a huge, huge potential uh, opportunities for our young generation, particular for Native American underrepresented students, first generation students. So this kind of the program set up and our forward looking curriculum, we really change the, you know, the social mobility and it will show the value of higher education. Even we are thinking right now, 
to move STEM to STEAM area. Basically, is how do we work with the liberal arts, social science, those areas bring us into STEM education. So we're talking about STEAM. So uh, not only is it, you will get a, a very good job, very good entry salary and, and so on, but you will find out the, the, the four-year education, you know, university college life will be really great. It will be really probably the best time for your lifetime because we're going to get connection with the social science, labor arts, the healthcare part, with engineering. This is what I'm trying to work with different deans. So we're thinking about how do we do some, something really new, STEAM, for instance. How can we do, what, what, what does it look like for STEAM curriculum and a STEAM collaboration, STEAM uh, degree? You know, engineers need not only hard skills, but also soft skills, typically like a communication skills, writing skills, teamwork skills, and, and lifetime learning skills as well. So you see all of these, I would say as a student, you come here, you not only get a degree, you're going to build your network. So I would say as a student, especially as a first generation student, if you come here, you'll be taken care of. Dean Andy Wang of the College of Engineering, Informatics and Applied Sciences at NAU. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Major.